Hey everybody, it's me, Logan Albright. You may remember a couple weeks ago I've been remiss, or actually over the last few weeks I've been a little bit remiss in uploading videos, and one of the reasons for that is I've been working a lot, and I was, I've been traveling a lot as well. And a couple weekends ago I was in Las Vegas, Nevada, for a convention I go to every year called Freedom Fest. And Freedom Fest is kind of a gathering of people who like freedom, a lot of libertarians, it's largely political. I go for work, but it's a lot of fun. Um, but one of the things I like about Freedom Fest is they have a they always have a booth there by uh, Griffin Editions, which is a publisher that puts out boutique, beautiful leather bound volumes of various titles, lots of obscure and esoteric titles too. Uh, the reason they're at Freedom Fest is they have a series called Classics of Liberty, and they always showcase the Classics of Liberty series there. But they have a lot of other titles as well, a lot of uh, titles on psychiatry, on medicine, on science, lots of interesting things, a lot of uh, on the law as well, on famous trials. And they're beautiful leather-bound books, and uh, you get a conference discount there, so I ordered a few. And they arrived today, so I thought I would do a book haul on Griffin Editions. So let me show you. I have a couple of these on my shelf behind me here already. These guys, they're beautiful leather copies. Um, the Griffin Editions, I think they really do an excellent job of presenting the books. They remind me of other boutique publishers like Easton Press, but they're, they're, they're expensive, but they're not nearly as expensive as Easton Press. I think they're a lot more reasonable. So I'll show you some of the books, and then I'm going to go through the ones that I got today and talk about the individual titles. But here's an example of a small one, a thin volume. It's uh, beautiful leather there. You see it's got the gold inlays. The pages have the, the gold edges. And the paper is very high quality. Nice. You can hear the spine flexing there because it's being opened for the first time. Nice thick paper. Nice read readable fonts. Uh, ribbon bookmarks in there. Uh, I think they're great books. They're some of the most beautiful books in my collection. And I'm really glad that I had the chance to get them with the conference discount from Freedom Fest. So let's go through the individual titles. Um, I have a, well, I'm interested in a lot of different things, and some of the things I'm interested in are kind of weird, but one of the things I'm interested in is insanity, and a couple of the books I have, a bunch of the books I have on this middle shelf, if you watch my library tour, my, bo uh, book, my bookshelf tour video that I did a while ago, um, this middle shelf is largely occupied by books, books on psychiatry and insanity, um, and so I have a few more of those that I've ordered from the Classics of Psychiatry Library from Griffin Editions. Uh, this one is called Insanity in Ancient and Modern Life. And a lot the cool thing about these books is they come with here are these cards, these little booklets. They say uh, notes from the editor. So this is Insanity in Ancient and Modern Life by Daniel Hacktook, MD. And it came out in 1873. Um, and they give you these little pamphlets that explain the contents of the book and the biography of the author. Those are kind of nice to have along with them. You can use them as bookmarks as well. So the first one is that one, Insanity in Ancient and Modern Life. I'm very interested in the topic, and I'm trying to read as much as I can on it. And I like these old books, too, you know. Uh, it's interesting to see what people used to think about these topics in the 19th, 18th century. So in the same vein, the second book I have is called The English Malady. And this is kind of about melancholy and depression and uh, nervous disorders of all kinds. Um, it's related to psychiatry, and it's related to insanity. A little thicker. Nice, beautiful one. This is an older book as well. It's from the 18th century, 1730s, I think, 1733, something like that. I forget the exact year. Uh, the next one I have, oh, this one, uh, this I actually got free with the other books because I, when you buy three, you got uh, this one free. This is from their Classics of Liberty series. This is John Locke's Two Treatises on Government. I think I've read the second one, but I don't think I've read the first one. So this is a nice addition to my Liberty Library. Uh, as you remember, if you did my bookshelf tour, a lot of the books on these shelves are, actually, and especially the ones underneath here, which you can't see, um, are Liberty Library focused. There's a lot of economics. There's a lot of uh, political philosophy, all focused on freedom and libertarianism. And a classic of the genre is, of course, John Locke's two treatises on government, which were heavily influential to the founding fathers of America, who uh, took his definitions of property rights and uh, and the 
general idea of the rights of man and incorporated it into the U.S. Constitution. Locke's most famous contribution to property rights theory is his idea that you acquire a property right over an unused or an unowned uh, piece of property by mixing your labor with it. If you, you know, take a piece of land and you dig on it and you build on it and you put a house on it and you cultivate the garden, you've invested some of your labor into it. And so if it was unowned, you were able to acquire a property right in it through that. That was one of his most famous theories. I'm going to have to revisit this. I haven't read Locke in a long time. And as I said, I don't think I read the first one of these. So this will be a nice little thing to read. And then this last one sort of bridges the gap between all my interests, um, liberty, psychiatry, and of course the occult, because I have done a couple books uh, on this channel talking about my interest in the occult, and there's a lot of that going on. So this is a book called Witchcraft Cases, and it's about the Salem witchcraft trials, and it's first-hand testimony from people who were there, witch hunters, uh, lawyers, judges, all kinds of people um, who were involved in those. And, you know, the Salem witch trials are a completely fascinating episode in history. It has a lot to do with rights. It has a lot to do with people being crazy. Many people believe it was a episode of ergot poisoning, which is a fungus that grows on rye and causes crazy hallucinations, and that mass poisoning and mass hallucinations were responsible. Um, it has a lot to do with group psychology and mob mentality. Um, so there's a lot going on there. And then it's also, um, there's a great book on the shelf back here, by uh, Dr. Thomas Sass, a psychiatrist, called um, The Manufacturer of Madness, which is, draws an analogy between the uh, psychiatry profession and the mental health movement and the witch trials of the Inquisition, and says that what used to be ascribed to witchcraft is now ascribed to mental illness. And that's a very interesting book, one of my favorites. I highly recommend it, but this will kind of help me uh, bridge that gap as well and continue to work, look along those themes and read about this kind of stuff very interested in witchcraft. So the Witchcraft Trials is going to be a good read. It's another big, thick, beautiful leather book. So what I'm going to have to do is go through these shelves and rearrange things because I want to put these on the shelf next to the other psychiatry titles, next to the other Griffin editions I have up there. And that's going to require a considerable amount of rearranging to do so that I can have everything just organized just the way I like it. That's what I want to do. I want my shelves to be orderly and easy to access. I am completely out of shelf space. I need to buy some more bookshelves. Maybe my loyal viewers will send me one, but I doubt it. Uh, but that's all I have for today. I just wanted to go through this cool publisher, Griffin Editions, and some of these cool books that I just got in the mail today. I'm very excited to start reading them. I've been Logan Albright. I've been your host. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me comments in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like my, my content and you think I'm interesting, you can always go to my Amazon page and buy some novels that I've written. You know, you might think they're good. Who knows? There's a first time for everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.